First, you must plan out where the shadow will appear. For this tutorial, we're going to use a ball. We're going to imagine that the light source is positioned in the top left-hand corner, so we know the shadow will appear at the bottom right-hand side of the ball. The shape of the shade will also depend on the shape of the ground surface. Here, we're going to have a flat surface, so the shade will be flat. The shadow also extends onto part of the ball. First, we're going to make a small reflection here to mark the part of the ball that is directly exposed to the light. Now, we're going to draw a line of separation between the light and shadow. This line marks the darkest part of the ball. The shadow extends less onto the right-hand side. The bottom right side should be a bit clearer since the reflection from the ground surface decreases the contrast. The difference between the line and the two sides must be only slightly visible on the right. It then progressively decreases as it approaches the reflection. Now, we're going to finish the different contrasts on the ball. The shade closest to the surface will be the darkest one since it connects the ball and the ground. We want to make the shadow circular since it's taking the shape of the ball. Now, we're going to draw the shade progressing from dark to light. If the ball is positioned in mid-air, the shadow will be drawn a bit differently. Since the light source remains the same, the position of the shadow will not change, but it will have a slightly different form. So the shadow that's projected by the ball will not be the same. The shadow's darker side will be its contours. For example, picture a towel hanging on the wall, only slightly away from the wall's surface. The light source is situated on the same side. In this case, the shadow is darker at its contours, and it mimics the shape of the towel. Don't forget that the shape of the shadow is always formed by an object, and that only the surface can change its shape. Also consider the source of the light. If the light source is close to the object, the shadow will be more sharp. If the light source is further away, the shadow will be more diffused. The size of the shade will also depend on the position of the object. To practice, watch your own shadow as you walk down the street. The shadow projected by your body grows and shrinks according to the position of the light source. 
You must study this to master the skills of drawing shadows. 